Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making uh, Captain America's shield from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, this one. Yeah, let's just get straight into that. Okay, so, uh, like, fat disclaimer, this video is going to be really long, so I'll put timestamps in the description, but, um, uh, you're going to want to get foam, foam board, um, that's what I'm using to make the shield, um, and I'm just measuring the, uh, I'm measuring out how big I want it to be, and, like, the size that I want the circles to be and everything, and then, um, I'm just writing that down, um, I'll link in the description how I, or the article that I used to figure out the, uh, circle sizes, um, for a 25-inch shield, um, so yeah, then I'm just drawing that on, um, putting a screw in there and having a piece of EVA foam to draw it on with. Um, that's a good technique to use. So now I just start cutting out um, those circles with an X-Acto knife and I'm just using a self-healing mat on the ground and then I start taping them together. Um, yeah, then I just take it off so I could cut out all the rest and then I'm just piling them up there in, just like on the ground there. Um, and now I'm curving them, just like folding them and then just taping them so that they get that curved domed shape that you're going to want for the Captain America shield. Um, for this middle circle, what I'm doing right here is I'm just cutting it smaller to try and fit it in. This isn't actually um, how I got the circle to fit in because the way that I did it, I actually got it to be domed. Um, I'll show you guys later in the video, but now I'm just bending all of that and taping that all together. Um, and I put the middle seam where it curves um, a little bad, so here you can see I'm, I'm fixing it so that that middle seam um, where each little circle ends up um, is like opposite. And then I'm just gluing that, taping on the outside, and then just gluing on the inside. Um, and then I grab the uh, homemade compass I made just to draw some of the uh, detailed lines in there, and then I'll, I'll come back to those later. Um, but here you can see... I'm just, I kind of burned my hot glue sticks, so I'm taking those out, um, but now what I did was I got the foam board, um, I cut out the circle, and it was a little bit bigger than what fit in there, and so I just took off one of the papers, since it's like, it's, it's paper, and then some foam, and then a paper on top, so I took off the bottom paper, and then I just stuck it in there and put tape so it would stay down, and it actually domed itself, um, and yeah, that's how I got that to stick there. And then I'm figuring out what I'm gonna do for to fill or to cover the part that I took the paper off of. Um, I end up just sticking a piece of BVA foam in there, um, as you can see here. But I'm gluing that on, and I'm just cutting off the excess. And then I take the tape off here. It was a bad idea because it wasn't actually stuck down, and I have to put it right back in there, um, as you can see there. And then I just hot glue that middle circle right in there to make sure that it stays. Um, and yeah, you're just going to want to use some really strong glue and just be careful with that. Um, wipe off the glue so it's kind of smooth on the inside. Um, but yeah, I'm just fixing that EVA foam to there um, to make sure that it just stays. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now what you're going to want to do is get a screw and a piece of EVA foam. And you're just going to want to um, cut that out and measure that. Um, because we're, I'm going to draw the line that goes on the red. Um, if you've seen the actual shield, you know what I'm talking about, but now I start to cover our, um, I start to cut out those, those detail lines that I made, um, the silver one and the red one now. Um, I know they're not colored, so it's kind of hard to see, but now I cover that all in Elmer's glue, um, to protect that so that I can actually paint it and put masking tape off and that the paper won't rip up, um, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm just covering that, uh, just get a really big paintbrush so that it'll be a lot faster. Um, and I, I'm breaking out my Dremel that I bought a couple days ago. Um, I'm just sanding down, uh, I'm sanding down the whole thing, um, just some of the spots were a little rough and stuff, so I'm just sanding that smooth, polishing it all and stuff. Um, and then that dome shape, some of it was kind of coming out, like the middle circle of the dome, um. And so I'm just sanding that off, um, and I'm sanding off some of the hot glue and some stuff on the top. Um, but yeah, I'll link I'll link the the Dremel in the description for you guys if you'd like to buy it yourself. Um, but I just keep uh, I just keep sanding that whole thing down, um, that top circle and everything. Um, just really get that sanded down good because um, you want it to look smooth. 
Um, you want it, you want it to look smooth, you know. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing here. So now I start to put away that Dremel, and now I'm adding a second coat of that Elmer's glue, um, just to really make sure that the paint and the masking tape does not mess up that foam core. And it really, it honestly works. You could use Mod Podge or glue. Um, yeah, I'll link some in the description too. Um, now I'm just coating that EVA foam piece on the bottom, or the, yeah, the bottom of the shield, the back, I guess you could call it. Um, with glue just because it will not paint if you don't coat it a little paint but like it'll absorb a bunch of the paint it, it really doesn't work um and then i'm trying to give the the uh whole back a coat of glue but there really wasn't enough make sure you buy enough glue to do this um and at least give it two coats i gave it like half of one because i didn't have enough glue but yeah that's all right um and yeah i just keep trying to get that glue out and just adding more glue um yeah you're going to want to add a lot to that UVA foam because it absorbs literally everything. Um, and you're going to want to be careful because it does leave brush strokes on that UVA foam. Um, I learned the hard way um, that it does that. But I just continue to coat that, that shield, the foam board, with um, more Elmer's glue. Um, yeah, just about, as enough, uh, just about enough as my bottle has. And now I've painted the silver on the front, and now I'm just masking it off so I can go ahead and paint that red on. Um, and I don't want to put masking table over the whole thing, so I put it like right on the edges, and then I put paper in the middle, as you can see here. Um, and that's just because if you put a bunch of masking tape, it could actually rip up your foam board, but it's also a waste of tape, because um, you're going to need a lot of it. Um, so I just like to use paper, and I'm just using scrap paper, or just like a bunch of paper that I found. Um, but yeah, you just rip that up and put that in the shape of it. And yeah. I'm going to go paint it. Okay, I've painted it now. Um, I've painted those red sections. Now it's my favorite part, removing the masking tape. Um, but yeah, now you're just going to want to get your X-Acto knife and re-score in those detail lines because after two coats of Elmer's glue and a coat of paint, they'll be pretty closed up. Um, you're just going to want to reopen those with your X-Acto knife like I'm doing here. I'll link an exacto knife in the description for you guys if you don't have one or if you want one or whatever. Um, I'll link that for you guys. Um, and I'm just scoring, rescoring in that red detail line. Um, if you've seen the actual shield, like in the show of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, um, you'll know that there's actually two detail lines. Um, and now I'm just designing the little band that goes on the bottom. Um, it's just a band that goes through the bottom. Um, you'll see once I flip the shield over and actually glue some of it on. Um, and that's a detail that's been on the shield for all the movies. You're just going to need, like, four of those. Um, and, yeah, you just trace the bottom of the shield um, and then just guesstimate how much you're going to need. I put, like, maybe two centimeters or, like, one, one centimeter probably. I don't know. I didn't really measure it again. Just guesstimate that. I cut out a paper template for the piece that holds the uh, strap like the little metal piece that holds the strap um so i cut that out and the way that i did that is i just like put a paper on the uh strap bracer thing and then i just got the corner and then i just cut out two rectangle holes and then folded one side up and yeah i then start cutting it out of the uh, one millimeter eva foam that i used for everything else but it it was a little too thin, so I tried to cut it out of foam core, but that didn't work because it doesn't fold very well. So I then came back to the uh, EVA foam, and what I did was I cut out three of them and glued, the, and glued them together. And then the piece that folds up, that holds the strap, it, I cut that one off, and then I hot glued it on. Um, I hot glued those on after, so yeah. I keep trying to cut out the uh, foam core, but it, it doesn't work. Be it just starts falling apart because, like, it just doesn't fold very well. So that's the issue that I had with that, but yeah. 
So I then go right back to the EVA foam and I decided that I'm just gonna do three layers. If you have three millimeter EVA foam, this would probably end up working like a lot better. Um, but like I said before, I just did the three layers. I hot glued it together and it honestly worked out quite fine. And then I just cut off the uh, piece that holds the actual strap. And then um, I glued those three together and then the other three that, that just sit there and hold the other decorative piece. Then I just glue those together, so yeah. I then start cutting it out and you're gonna need like four of these so um i'm using an exacto knife to cut it out and make sure that your your blade is quite sharp um because foam really dulls your blades up and then i can't emphasize how much you need to put something under your um under what you're cutting so you don't mess up your surface because my desk is quite destroyed from all these things that i've made um over the years and it's yeah just make sure you put something under there I then keep cutting and cutting and cutting and do listen to music or watch a movie or video or something while doing this because it gets quite tiring and annoying at some times, but it, it is extremely worth it. It does pay off. I then start uh, hot gluing the straps inside of the uh, the bracer or the things that hold them. What I do is I just put it inside of the uh, foam, the EVA foam piece, and then I just wrap it around and hot glue the bottom. Also, if you're if you're using belts like I am, they generally have um, a brown piece on each side. Um, so what you're gonna want to do to save or to use to save leather um, is just rip that in half and then use the top and the bottom piece, and it also makes it thinner. So yeah, I then start cutting out the uh, piece that holds the bottom piece that holds the uh, leather strap, which isn't actually a strap. It's just it goes on the sides. Um, you, you you probably know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, well, just look at a picture of the back of the shield and you know what I'm talking about. But pretty much it's just a rectangle, and then there's just a rectangle cut out in the middle for the strap, the strap piece to go inside. So yeah, that's all it is. And then start cutting and gluing and cutting and gluing, and um, you're going to need about four of these, I believe. So yeah, four of these. And um, it, does, it doesn't really matter the color of them, even like it, it could be like a red sandwich with a blue, it really doesn't matter because they're all going to be painted silver. And then start gluing the straps onto the shield um, before they're painted. You're not going to want to do that. What you're going to want to do is just paint them first and then put them together. Yeah, before you even put them together, you want to paint them. You're going to want to paint them. Cut a super straight line. That's what I did. I cut out a paper template for the uh, strap bracket, and the reason I'm doing this again is because the uh, the templates that I cut for the um, the things that hold the straps, one's bigger than the other one, so the bigger one I actually had to cut out a, another uh, piece, so yeah. And it, it's quite straightforward, it is literally the exact same thing, you're just cutting out a bigger one um, depending on the size of the uh, strap bracket. Thing. I, I seriously have no idea what to call that. I then start cutting this uh, new template piece out of EVA foam, and you're gonna need four. No, no, no. You're gonna need two of these, and then so pretty much six of them because each has to be three layers thick. Um, you're probably not gonna make this mistake, but if you do, this is how you fix it. I then start hot gluing the uh, new strap brackets together, and you're probably not gonna make this mistake again, like I said before. But if you do. So I fix it, and again, <laughs> I'm not perfect, but the shield turned out really good, so yeah. I then start cutting out the um, rectangle strap bit piece that holds like the leather detail. And again, it's the same straightforward process, I just had to make, a, make it a little bit bigger. And then you're just hot gluing three layers together. And yeah. Again, I'm just cutting these out, quite straightforward process. Something that you can actually do. Um, with EVA foam pieces like this is you could spray them with a couple coats of Plasti Dip and then that'll seal them up and then it'll make the uh, painting process a lot better. And Plasti Dip is just a rubber spray that really seals up your foam and makes it look really nice. I then start gluing the belt, the belt strap pieces to the uh, EVA foam bracer bit things. I'll call them, I guess, bracer bits. Um, and then I... I I grab the whole assembly and I start to glue it onto the uh, shield, just hot gluing it and making sure that everything is in the right place and that it all fits right together and yeah. And now this is quite straightforward, just make sure you've bought enough belts to do the project. I just hit up the Goodwill and then just got like a ton of belts there. 
um, but just make sure that your belt is the right brown and it's flexible enough and it'll work for the thing, you know what I mean? So for the star, what I decided to do was just pretty much use that compass that I made, which is just a screw on some EVA foam. And then I just made that, or I measured out the circle, the center circle and the shield. And then I just traced that onto some paper. And what I did is I found a star online. Um, I'll also link that in the description for you guys. And then I'm just tracing that onto the paper and then like cutting it out and adding a little bit. Um, I'm just like adding a little bit so that it totally fits on that circle um, on each edge. And now um, I'm just tracing it on to, or I'm finding the spot that I need it to be, like where the point needs to be. So when I wear the shield on my arm, the point is like facing up, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm just tracing that on. Um, you just tape that on with some masking tape and then fill in those lines. Um, and yeah, now I'm just tracing out some of the details. Um, I'll leave that in the description. I'll show a picture of those details so you can trace them on as well. Um, using a mechanical pencil, it works a lot better than a number two pencil since it's like pretty much always sharp. Um, but yeah, and then you, you can erase on the foam board as well. Um, and now I'm just scoring in those lines with an exacto knife and scoring means that you, you cut it in, you cut in the details, but not all the way through. So in the case of, of a foam board, you cut through the, the top layer of paper and the middle layer of foam, but leave the bottom layer of paper there. And so you cut through those, and then it's just scored in, and it looks really, really nice. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing, and I'm just going through every single spot, and just being, I'm being really precise and really slow. Um, but yeah, now I'm just adding, I'm masking off that star, and yeah, so I can paint the uh, blue onto that center circle. Um, and I'm just masking off the whole shield, um, except for that center circle. Um, just so I can make sure that I get none of it blue. Um, and the fact that we that I covered it in Elmer's glue, you can literally put as much masking tape as you want, and it won't damage the foam board. But it it did actually rip some of the paint off. And now I'm just adding in um, the little rectangles um, every at every single uh, point of the star on the silver um, little band there. There's just little rectangles, and I'm just scoring those in. Um, and yeah, I'm just scoring those in, and then here I'm just masking off everything else so I can go ahead and repaint that red that got chipped off um, by the masking tape. Um, and you can, you can avoid this just by getting some masking tape that's not too sticky, but make sure that it's still like, will protect your, your uh, whatever you're painting on, you know what I mean? Um, so I painted that, then I removed the masking tape, and yeah. Now what I'm doing is I've just got some black paint and a paper towel and I'm just putting it into those little rectangles and then I'm just wiping it off really fast so that it only gets in the rectangles and that's about the only spot that it goes um, so it doesn't get anywhere else on the shield. Um, and I'm just adding that into every single rectangle and yeah, and then you could just see I'm just wiping it off and just, it'd be a lot better if you had a smaller, if I had a smaller paintbrush, um, you guys should definitely use a smaller paintbrush, paintbrush for this, um, but yeah, and I'm just... Uh, putting that black paint into the star and all those little score details and crevices and stuff and I'm just uh, Then wiping it off and I'm putting it into the silver band The silver scored line and then just wiping it. so I just finished the shield and um, this is what it ended up looking like um, this is the front And I'm honestly quite happy with it um, The blue and the star the weathering and stuff. I did mess it up a little bit though when I was putting the black like into the star um, kind of got into these divots because it wasn't well, like, filled and sanded, but here's the back with those 3D printed pieces there, and then, yeah, I'm honestly, like, really, really happy how it came out, and then the, uh, the edges, how I painted them red and everything. Um, so yeah, that's the shield. If you like the video or found it informative in any way, don't forget to, uh, leave a like down below and subscribe if you like my content and would like to see more. Comment down below anything that you would like to see me make next. Um, I post videos every single Friday. Come back next week to see the video on the belt for the Captain America, uh, Sam Wilson Captain America cosplay.